How do we do this? I'm right here. I'm looking at the chat window. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and Thanks, get thank started you. with questions in the room. Don't. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, Angel, I just want to ask you a question about Jackie. She seems like she <laughs> was so good last year, and this year she even seems like she took it to another level. So, yeah. is there anything different about her, or what are you seeing on the board? I mean, I don't know, but I tend to, people tend to forget that Jackie is a number one draft pick and uh, she is playing like one. <laughs> uh, this is who she is through and through. And she has done so much to expand her game. And I think she took last year where people were playing off of her and showed her different looks. She took that personal and made them guard her. And she's doing well on both ends of the court. And I mean, I'm gonna say this all the time. Jackie is an all-star. She's probably one of the best two-way players we have in our league, uh, minus these four turnovers she had today. <laughs> I don't know what she was going through her hair there, but other than that, I feel like Jackie has really just helped us a lot, uh, and she's just growing day by day. Can you, can you talk about the, the, the start you guys had? I assume you figured that they would they would make a run at, at some point, mm -hmm. but uh, getting up to a 19-point you know, first half lead, how important that was? Uh, it's so important, especially when it comes to us and we have a history of having slow starts. Um, so for us, we knew we had to come in with the mindset of making sure that we could take the first punch, but also be able to throw it at the same time. And I think we showed that and it's going to be probably completely different come Thursday. So we have to be ready for that. But I think we did a decent job of on the defensive end. I think we were very locked in on the defensive end in the first quarter and we need that uh, from here on out. Kind of going off of that. What has been the focus from coaches this season or going into this season on the defensive front? Because I know even last year that was like the big focus. Um, yeah. So where do you feel like you guys have grown since last year, even defensively? And where's you know where can you guys go from here? Uh, I mean we've grown defensively because we are bigger. Um. I mean, we have Dev coming off the bench with Kia, so we're growing there. Uh, but at the same time, I think a goal of ours is, to, what did Becky say, top three in the league defensively. Uh, that's where we need to aim. Uh, and we're trying our best to do that, and it's not easy. Uh, but it comes with a lot of communication, a lot of trust, and uh, being able to be physical. And that's what we're going to try to do. Does it help to be a great defensive team, just based on having that trust of having the core players you know, for the last few years? For sure. It is helpful, especially when you have a veteran front, uh, because we've been in these situations before. Uh, this is new to us. Uh, so it is helpful, uh, but at the same time, it comes with a lot of trust and communication. Andy? Hey, Jackie. Um, just wanted to get your kind of evaluation on um, the your guys' perimeter defense in that fourth quarter. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean... We kind of let them uh, go off a little bit, especially uh, Rebecca Allen. I think the biggest thing for us is just communicating um, and playing team defense. Uh, we have to play, you know, four good quarters of defense. And uh, so we're still growing in that aspect, but we just have to pit together uh, four great quarters of defense. But I think the biggest thing for us is just executing the game plan and getting stops. Definitely. And then, um, you know, four turnovers aside, I guess you, uh, KP, and Chelsea combined for 19 uh, assists today um kind of what kind of chemistry do you guys have passing and, and how important is that to the offense right now yeah we've played together for a little while uh, we just try to be unselfish make the right plays uh you know uh, whenever we get stops on defense we're able to get going um and transition on offense and so uh the ball was popping and um yeah we had a lot of assists tonight thank you mark Hey, all. First off, congrats on the win. Uh, Asia, a question for you. On one of the final possessions, you and Chelsea ran an inverted pick and roll on the empty side. Um, and I was just wondering if you could speak a little bit about how, I mean, like, I don't know, maybe you, you don't think about it when you're in game or even watching film back, but like how kind of wild it is that you guys can run it and have it be as effective as it is, like just the way that the offense opens up. Yeah, I mean, it's something that we don't really practice, but it's there. And I think that's always good to have that in our back pocket because you kind of look at it as how do you guard it? Uh, and, yeah. and have those communications, especially Chelsea now, we have those communication points where we're like, hey, if something happens, we got we have multiple things that we can get out of it. And I think that's the beautiful thing about it. But when it comes to that, I trust Chelsea's decision and she trusts mine and we just go with the flow. As a follow-up, too, I was wondering how you felt about just the way the AC has come in and kind of acclimated right away off rip. Um, it feels like that was kind of a piece that you guys missed at times last year, and having her fill in has been really huge so far. 
for sure. Like, uh, man, AC brings exactly what we need uh, always. She's communicating with us. She's just a defense. Like, I couldn't stand when AC was guarding me. So now to have her on our squad and she's dictating actions and defending well, uh, it's it's a lot of fun to play alongside her. And she's, I mean, she's knocking down shots. She's really the role. She's doing her role exactly the way that we need to do it. And, and I'm just happy to play alongside of her. Nikias? Uh, yes, a uh, question for Asia. Um, you've talked about the importance of dealing with physicality for yourself, for your teammates. I guess just after facing that Connecticut team, how do you feel like you did and how do you think the team itself responded to that level of physicality? Um, I think we did a lot better than we probably would have last year. I think last year's team probably would have been a little sh uh, shook a little bit in some cases, especially when they went on that big run. But I think we weathered the storm and we understood that, yeah, they were going to throw that punch, but we also were ready for that as well. So uh, I think we're really growing together and understanding that we're going to get everyone's best shot 100%, but it's like, okay, then what, what can we do? How can we still be us for 40 minutes? And uh, we're still trying to learn that, but I think we did a pretty decent job uh, handling that in that situation. Got you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, we got time for a couple of more. Early flight to Uncasville tomorrow. Sabrina. Girl. Hey, just building off of what Mark said about Alicia Clark, I, I believe this is the first time you guys have closed with that five of, you know, starting five with Alicia in place of Candace. Uh, what do you like about that small lineup and how do you think it worked against a team like Connecticut that is so big and physical? Oh, I mean, we can't really give away the scout, but like, I think uh, the small ball would work well with us. Uh, it's something that uh, Becky's starting to implement a little bit. extend that outside where we can provide that safe sanctuary that ties into our vision to Period. kids that do not have hope when they find yeah. themselves in a situation where they find themselves having like cancer. <laughs> You can start buying $100 tickets for a chance to win the home and some other prizes on July 12th. Really? Ahead on Newsday Live at 6.30 as our Golden Boys head to the Sunshine State looking to maintain their lead in the Stanley Cup final. Fans flock right. to the Arsenal looking to dress their best as they... Yeah. But um, Good to know what's on TV back in Vegas. Right. But I mean, I think the small ball lineup shows gives us a different look. Uh, it gives us some more weapons so-so. Uh, and uh, we can play out of it. So we really haven't practiced. So I think Becky's just trusting our like basketball minds to make it work uh, and also matching up with them as well. I think it's a good show uh, look that we can do and we can play out of it. All right, last one for Mr. Emerson and then we'll be back with Becky Hammond. Sorry about that guys. All right, so Asia, I had a question for you kind of about Candice and just kind of your growth with her on the defensive end. Tonight, I think you guys combined for six total blocks, two steals. Is, was tonight kind of the most effective that you have felt in on defense and kind of with her? Do you, have you guys felt the most connected Have you uh, tonight, rather? Uh, um, I don't know if we felt most connected to tonight, uh, but I think that we're definitely starting to grow better on the defensive end. Like, we have on the court whether we're taking that's a lot of direction and I think that our guards so we're building that trust and that communication factor of trusting that we can switch big to big we can move a little bit we can give a little bit more space to our defense like our person that we're guarding um and then it allows us to time shots it allows us to I mean when you look at us we're a pretty big lineup uh, across the paint so biggest thing is protecting the paint and I think we do that just by communicating so I lied. One more and then we'll bring it back. Jackie, when you look at your growth, even from last year to this year, where do you see the biggest areas of actual basketball? So the mindset, just the team, uh, trust me. Um, I just have the same confidence in myself. And so uh, I talked with coach early on like maybe before the season started and I think that was the biggest thing is just making sure I always come in with an aggressive and confident mindset. So that's when she wanted you to specifically come out with she encouraged that. Yeah I mean she knew she knew that I put the work in on the court uh, but for me uh, it's always been a mindset thing so if I come in um, aggressive and, and all right, thank you, ladies. We'll be back momentarily. Becky Hammond, you guys find your way 